sitting in the median, probably gonna get hit by a car. What's up guys, why am I wearing one glove? That's like Michael Jackson. Alright, today we're gonna do a little video about um, seeing how wrong the speedometer is stock. You know, because everybody's like, oh, you hit 100 and whatever, and then you're not really going 150, you're going like 142.73. Actually, that might be correct. I'm not sure, but anyways, we're going to GPS this, all right? Check, check this out, all right? Oh, yeah, let me show you something first of all. See that? That's Instagram. If you're not following me on there, you're stupid. Now nah, you're, you're not stupid, but you're not that intelligent. Anyways, we're going to go to here. All right, so we've got the RAM mouse set up. And do you think it would be better like this or like that? I don't know. I'm thinking. I'm thinking straight up. Straight up now, tell me, do you? Yeah, good song. Anyways, all right. Let me get the little angleage going on there. Look at this. It's not even that stable. Jesus. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, all right? Anyways, so we're going to GPS this today. We're going to test it against my 50 mile an hour indicated on my bike. Whatever this is, you'll times it by two, and that'll be your percentage of being wrong. Uh, yeah. Because I'm good at math like that, and that works. So here we go. Start her up. Alright, so zero and zero. Hmm. I guess it's correct. Alright, so let's uh, go, let's go hop on a road where we can go a little faster. Alright, so 50 miles an hour. 40, 46? Let me get 50. Yeah. So at 50 miles an hour, my speedometer is showing 50 miles an hour, and it's actually 46 miles per hour. So that's four miles an hour difference. So times two for 100 would be 8% off. Um, so in theory, at 100 miles an hour, from 8% off, I would be going 92 miles an hour. Um, so, yeah. So in theory, at like 150, you would be going 12 miles an hour less. So you'd be going 138. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so when I top my bike out, I think I, I hit 186. Um, so technically, uh, 8% of that would be, huh, man, I don't know, there's a lot of math to be doing right now, um, yeah, so anyways, it'd be pretty far off, I think it'd be like in the 160s, right, 167, somewhere around there, nah, it'd be like 170, 171, yeah, so, uh, yeah, anyways, so, in theory, at 100, I should be going about 92, right? It would be 8 miles an hour difference, which is 8% off. Um, so we're going to test that theory out up here once I can get a longer, straighter road. I'll just uh, try to lock it in at 100 and see what the uh, speedometer says versus the GPS. Alright, so I'm coming up on a long straightaway. I'm gonna lock it in at 100 and see what the actual percentage off is. traveling so at 100 miles an hour indicated on my bike is 91 is the actual GPS speed so you're looking at about a 9% difference um, of the actual speed versus the speedometer so yeah that's a easy way to just kind of check if you're uh, how far off your speedometer is I know most Jap bikes are off by they say like six to eight percent so I guess mine's in the higher range which doesn't really matter because honestly I like um, the fact that like if I am technically holy crap <laughs> that bird almost hit me 
So if I'm traveling at uh, what I think is 50 miles an hour um, in like say a 40, I'm going 10 over. I'm realistically only going 46. So I'm realistically only going six miles an hour faster than the posted speed limit, which is probably a good thing. It'll keep you out of trouble. So that's always awesome. Where are these guys? Oh, I see him back there. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I am going to head out on that note, and I will see you on the next video. Peace. Alright, seriously, bye.